Hi Virgo, I hope that you guys are doing well. Before we get into this, I would like to set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. <clears throat> How are my Virgo friends doing? I hope you guys are doing well. What is this? Are we calling judgment on a situation? Did you feel hurt by something? Maybe you're also healing. Maybe you're transcending something that you had felt hurt by. Like maybe healing. Healing from a situation that you felt hurt by. I'm hearing the word embrace. I don't know if we're embracing whatever this was that had happened. For some, this happened at work. Like somebody that you were working with. For others, this was within, um, in, 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 within an interaction that you were having with somebody. Somebody that you may have like gone to for some sort of comfort or advice or something like that and it's like you walked away feeling hurt about this or maybe you were hurt by a situation and you're coming through to talk to somebody it's like you could have also been working with someone or exchanging energy with them and you felt like you felt like they were not treating you as an equal like, you didn't feel like they were bringing the same... I'm hearing element of care into whatever exchange this was that you had with them. It's like somebody let you down. I'm getting expectations. <clears throat> I'm seeing somebody with a striped shirt on here. I'm also hearing the word penny. This is like when you have, um, when you have, uh, oh my gosh, why can I not remember this? When, it's like when you're playing a game before the official game, a scrimmage, when you're playing a scrimmage, it's like those like fake uniforms that you put on. That's what I'm hearing, penny. But I'm seeing that. What you want is to be treated fairly, equally, to receive reciprocity, whether that's financially or energetically. And I'm seeing that we're being guided to keep the faith because you're planting seeds for that. Even if we experience some sort of hiccup, which I'm getting that we did, okay? Yeah. Definitely got your feelings hurt by something. I'm laughing because I'm hearing feelings. What feelings? Of course feelings, Virgo. We all have feelings. Yeah, it's like somebody... I'm getting that somebody got to you in some sort of way. Like, this was at the least an unpleasant situation that you found yourself within. Yeah, I'm seeing this be related to something going on with work. It's like, maybe you were... Maybe you were talking to somebody and you found something out. And it's like, you were looking for reciprocity, compensation maybe even, because of a job that you were doing. Like, you were looking at your boss to compensate you for something or like even a company now I'm hearing formality and it's like you've been working to plant the seeds 
for something that you've been focusing on studying. It's like I'm I'm seeing it almost be be like you you in some sort of in some sort of place where it's like you're learning things or working to secure a certain position. Maybe you're studying something. Because this person here is kind of like an apprentice. And I'm I'm seeing that you're kind of like this is what you're working on right now. This is the state that you're in. But yeah, I'm I'm seeing something going on with what you feel. It's like you were hurt by a certain situation because something came something came to light. I'm seeing you working with someone. I'm seeing words being exchanged here and I'm seeing a message about like compensation or reciprocity. I'm looking at a boss figure here. Remember energies can always be reversed. I'm looking at Gemini. I'm also looking at Leo here. But Gemini was the first card that stood out to me. This can just have to do with an interpersonal relationship. This can be somebody you're very close with here. I'm I'm seeing you working on something in relation to your intuition. I'm seeing you gather information here. For some, I'm getting that you, your boss could be observing you working on your gifts. It's like you're, again, I'm getting this word apprentice. It's like you may be at the beginning stages of, of something, but I'm seeing you like work towards a goal here and I'm seeing this person watching you. That's interesting. For some, this can be something going on at work where it's like somebody that maybe have some sort of prominent position like within a company that you're working for it's like you guys work out of the same place I'm seeing them like recognize that they have feelings for you and they may also be saying something like this to you and you may be learning about this that this person's going to come through that's really interesting Is this a lesson in clearing the heart space? It's like, maybe what happens, I'm getting this notion, it's like, maybe you had been through something before that you felt hurt by. And it's like, after you choose to heal whatever this was that you went through, maybe there's a new opportunity that's opening up for you. You know, Virgo, I was thinking about this notion the other day, and I was actually going to do a video on it. And... It was about the ways that um, we delay things when we feel comfortable or when we're like, well, I don't see this situation getting better if I leave it. And it's like, how many people do you think would actually come into contact with somebody that they're actually meant to be with if we all stopped staying in certain situations that we felt unhappy within or that we know have come to an end? You know what I mean? Whether this is job-related, interpersonal situations, habits that we continue to do, that we know are not healthy for us, that are not beneficial to our growth. And it's like if everyone decided that they were going to exit situations that they knew the time had come to begin a new chapter, think of like how many people would be meeting each other or how many like job opportunities or like situations we would find ourselves within that felt right for us because everybody's like opening the door for new experiences. So this is a lesson in healing and I'm seeing us working with somebody. I'm seeing us calling something out and it's like this balance, something about balance, something about reciprocity, something about equality. I'm hearing, I'm seeing um, clarity come through for you. 
And it's like something you've been in the midst of manifesting here that I'm looking at. It's like you're planting the seeds to be you are in the midst of leaving a situation that feels chaotic to you in search of something that feels divine. Something that feels looks, feels energetically you perceive this to be in alignment with the highest frequency of love here. I'm seeing you want to explore this. This is where you're going to find the stability that you're looking for. Because you're seeking to, I'm hearing become one with this frequency. Like this is where stability and like your aspirations lie. And I'm seeing you choose to leave behind something in search of this. It just takes, I'm hearing, making up your mind. To exit out of something that feels, I'm hearing, controversial. It's like something that doesn't feel settling to you or doesn't feel healthy or doesn't feel stable. But you have to make the decision to walk away. Because I'm seeing you almost be in a thinking period. And it's like, when I look at the Seven of Pentacles, it's about needing to hold on to these seeds that you've planted. It's like you already know that this is a manifestation that you want It's just about, I'm hearing not eating the seeds. That's interesting. You know, I actually had a dream about, about this. And like the catchphrase at the end was that's why we don't eat the seeds. It's like when, when you have seeds that you want to plant in relation to a manifestation, like these are the metaphorical seeds, right? If, if you eat them, there's going to be nothing left. It's almost like if you swallow your dreams, like you're not allowing them to grow and you're not going to express them and you're not going to like see, uh, see them come to light, see them bloom because you're like internalizing things and rather, rather than externalizing a manifestation, it's again like you're swallowing, swallowing like your dreams and your manifestations rather than expressing them outwardly. And so this is all about like you being in a place right now where it's like, are you going to kill this crop that you've been planting, meaning your manifestation, or are you going to keep watering it to see what blooms from it? And I'm seeing this is about you leaving something, leaving something that you know is not beneficial to you. Like it does not carry a peaceful frequency with it, whatever this is. And maybe you also know that you're going to have to call something out if you leave behind whatever whatever dynamic that is or situation. But it's like you're trying to figure out what's going to make you happy here. It's like I'm getting bits and pieces that you're collecting about what's going to um, like drive you towards like your happiness. Your happiness, what you want, wish, what you seek. This is about a wish fulfillment. And like you want to you want to be happy, potentially even with a family. doesn't have to be this can just be your singular pursuit of happiness but i'm seeing that there could also be a masculine figure involved for some this is a new job that you want to be starting a new opportunity <coughs> for others if this is not a job this is actually you pursuing a relationship with somebody that you feel is trustworthy and stable and reliable i'm seeing you working on something here I'm hearing securing the dream. Yeah, I'm looking at you right here, Virgo. This is like, again, the apprentice that is assigned to you, I'm hearing. Quarant. Quarant is like the viewer, interesting, of, of the reading. It's like what the reading, who this character is that the reading is centered around. And I'm seeing this be you in this place. It's like you're learning about something you're studying something, you're working on something here, and I'm seeing you working on reflecting as well. It's like searching for something internally. Something that, like, it's like whatever this thing is that you're looking for, you're not going to find it outside of yourself. You're going to find it in here. And that is the whole, the whole vibe of, um, of the hermit. It's about what you find in that reflective time. 
I'm also hearing through meditation and it's like once you find what you're looking for and I'm seeing you putting in a lot of work to find something here I'm also hearing answers it's like something that you're waiting to like understand comprehend I'm hearing and then it's like as soon as you I'm hearing catch hold of it it's like something that like expresses itself I'm hearing outwardly like comes outside of yourself very interesting Virgo it's like something that then is expressed and able to be perceived by those around you but it all started internally whatever this was that you've been searching for and I'm seeing your joy and happiness be tied to this and I'm seeing this there be a plan then that's made that's going to be tied to your stability and I'm seeing a message as well that's going to be delivered like somebody on their way to deliver some sort of message something that you know is going to make you happy here like you find your joy within whatever this is you recognize that and I'm seeing there be a plan for you to start a new venture this can also like as much as this can be you pursuing something creatively that you want to pursue this can as well and or be related to some sort of interpersonal opportunity relationship that you want to be part of because it's almost like you recognize that you have feelings for something or someone and you want to be part of that like you want to make some sort of I'm hearing dynamic duo with this person yeah and this has to do with your happiness and this is a space that you feel empowered within because there are a lot of feelings between you and this person and you feel guided together with them And you feel really confident as well. It's like maybe whatever situation this was in the past that you're figuring out you want to move away from, you didn't feel empowered in that space. I'm also feeling I'm feeling like this energy of not feeling seen either. Like maybe you didn't feel like um like whatever situation this was, you weren't seen for who you feel you are, you know, and how you want to be seen, how you want to be held. And I'm seeing that, like, tied with this interpersonal relationship, this can be a sibling, this can be a best friend, this can be a romantic relationship, whatever this is that you're a part of where you feel like this person sees you. I'm looking at Gemini and I'm looking at the moon here. I'm also looking at Leo. Um, whatever dynamic this is, you feel empowered within this. You feel attractive. You feel creative. It's like you feel like you have that fire, like motivating you again. And I'm seeing you also feel very in touch with your intuition and you feel maybe an intuitive, maybe psychic connection, something bond with this person here that you are um, like teaming up with in a way. Yeah. There's definitely some sort of like emotional psychic connection that you have with this person and it's like when when you enter into this space with them, whether this is like a business partnership that you want to work on a project with them or this is something romantic or this is like a best friend that you're linking up with or like a sibling that you're becoming closer with, whatever this is, you feel empowered by it and you also feel intuitively connected to it and I'm seeing you like really feel in touch with your depth your well of emotions here and also your intuitive and psychic abilities as well it's like something that you know you are meant to be a part of with this person i'm hearing confidently you confidently know and i'm seeing your intuition be very on point about this i'm hearing about what's meant to be like this feels like fated destined to you And it helps you, like, regain a sense of, like, sentimentality and emotionality, I'm hearing. Like, you feel more in touch with your emotions and what you feel. And, like, you're seeing that to be of value for you, Virgo. Like, you feel happy about being so deeply in touch. Maybe you feel like you're reconnecting with a sense of self that you feel like um, you kind of lost touch with in a way. 
And this is also related to your confidence as well. It's like, because you feel seen or held in a certain space, you feel um, like more encouraged to be yourself and be more in touch with the parts of yourself that may have been misinterpreted or misunderstood or you felt you needed to hide away at one point in time because it would be taken advantage of if you were like vulnerable in that way. Okay, so for the signs, I'm looking at Saturn. I'm looking at Virgo Leo. I'm looking at Gemini. I'm looking at the moon here. I also see this as representing the 12th house, which is Pisces energy. Okay, my friends, we are going to end it there. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.